A diver is playing with a special looking creature in the blue sea. What kind of creature is this? How did the diver play with this cute little creature? There is also an invaluable friendship between humans and sharks. An Australian man named Anderson, who loves to dive, accidentally met a shark in the ocean and the friendship has lasted for seven years now, which is quite incredible. Anderson himself hopes to use the story of his encounter with the shark to break the stereotype of sharks as vicious and cannibalistic. To improve the situation of sharks today, and to call on people to stop hurting sharks so as to protect them. Anderson, who loves the ocean and its creatures, has been a professional diving instructor for 27 years and runs a diving school near Nobis Beach. Where he teaches diving skills to tourists. Point one day, seven years ago, Anderson was swimming happily in his favorite sea as usual. Then he noticed an unknown creature swimming in front of him, but its posture was weird, twisted into a strange posture. Driven by curiosity, Anderson waved his flippers and swam forward to find out what was going on. Anderson could not help but think a little happily that he might have discovered a new species in the ocean. So he swam forward more vigorously. And soon he caught up with the strange, unknown creature. Anderson went up to take a look, the unknown creature, in fact was not his imagination of new marine species, but an only 15 centimeters of Australian female tiger shark baby. Anderson saw the baby tiger shark in front of him, he really couldn't help but want to go up and get close to it, because this time the baby tiger shark was too cute, just like a lovable toy doll. The baby tiger shark instinctively wanted to swim away after seeing a human get close, but at this point Anderson saw the strange thing about the baby tiger shark, a large fish hook embedded deep in its tiny fin. Anderson knew that if the hook was not taken down, the baby tiger shark would be in big trouble and it would be a problem if it survived. So Anderson ignored the baby tiger shark's resistance, put the baby tiger shark in his arms and helped it take off the fish hook. And then hurriedly released the baby tiger shark to let it go. He did not expect the baby tiger shark did not swim away at once, but swam around him several times, as if to say thank you for Anderson's kindness. Anderson was amused by the baby tiger shark's naive appearance. And could not help but reach out his hands to try to get close to it. The baby tiger shark did not dodge, but very intimately let Anderson touch itself, and after a long time, the baby tiger shark was even more bold, and even let Anderson hold it in his arms. This kind of super close interaction made Anderson quite happy. This is a real shark, and also a shark would be pampered to him. As you can imagine, as a lover of marine animals, Anderson's mood at the moment was so excited. If he was not wearing the oxygen mask. Anderson was estimated to cheer up. As soon as Anderson went diving, he would visit the baby tiger shark, and the baby tiger shark would come on time to interact with Anderson and hug him, and it never missed the appointment. And even when it needed to move later. This cute tiger shark would come back to him in the warmer months of the year. Every time it saw Anderson, the tiger shark would immediately open its mouth wide and swim over joyfully, pampered Anderson as usual. In fact, Anderson never fed the tiger shark. And did not give the name of the tiger shark. He just gently approached the tiger shark each time and got close to it, but they have become each other's most special friends. Humans and sharks had established such an inseparable relationship. And their friendship has lasted seven years so far. Such a friendship is really enviable, although the sharks are very ferocious animals in the eyes of everyone, from the above story we can also see that they actually have a soft side, provided they feel the human friendly. It so happens that one of the female divers also has an extraordinary relationship with sharks. The picture of the female diver in the water, dancing, surrounded by many sharks, constituting a pair of both frightening but a very warm scene when you look carefully. Before this heartwarming scene, the female diver was taking out the hook from the mouth of the huge shark. Looking at the shark's huge white teeth, I can really sweat for the female diver. Especially worried that the shark would suddenly do not cooperate or she would hurt the shark, then the shark would bite the female diver's arm. 
But obviously such worries were superfluous, the shark opened its mouth. Looked especially obedient to let the female diver take the fish hook from its mouth. After taking, perhaps the shark felt particularly comfortable, it even swimming happily around the female diver, maybe it was expressing the gratitude to the female diver. This picture is very warm and friendly. Perhaps the sharks have their own unique way of transmitting information to each other, and soon there are more sharks who come here and want the female diver to take out the fish hooks from their mouths as well. The female diver is really busy, but she still takes the hooks out of the shark's mouths one by one. She also makes a point of showing people that big box of dense fish hooks. At this time, many sharks are swimming around the female diver happily. And the female diver is also constantly stroking their heads, like stroking her own children, happily and friendly, the reason for such a harmonious scene should go back to an idea Christina had more than 20 years ago. Christina was very fond of diving. And since she started college she had often gone diving with her friends. On this day, they came to a slightly deeper part of the ocean. For them it was a challenge because they were very likely to encounter fierce sea animals. So after getting into the water, they all watched their surroundings carefully. Everything went well, there was nothing unexpected happened. But in order to prevent any accidents, they still hurried to shore. And the fate also came at this moment. Just when Christina was about to approach the water surface. She somehow looked back, and this glance almost changed her life. I end the endless turquoise blue, deep water, a shark in which gracefully, floating. It kept writhing, as if to express its pain. Christina stared at the shark. Suddenly she saw the shark's mouth seemed to have fish hooks appearing, she was afraid that the hook brought the pain to the shark. She looked up at the short distance between herself and the surface of the water, after a few seconds of hesitation. She resolutely swam in the direction of the shark. The friends did not see her come up for a long time, and they went down to sea, they were stunned at once. They tried desperately to obstruct, but Christina did not turn back. But the next magical scene happened. The shark did not hurt Christina, it seemed to sense Christina's kindness, just stayed still. Observing that the shark had no intention of hurting herself, Christina slowly went forward and touched the shark. After a little familiarity, she put her hand into the shark's mouth and then pulled out the hook in its mouth, the shark relaxed a lot at once, lightly swam around her, and the fate between them thus arose. The opening scene has been going on for years. The relationship between animals and humans is often so subtle, you love me more. I would also love you more.